Yee, 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 what up, guys? It's Shake You Hard, and this time I'm changing it up. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on how to get better at block ops. This gameplay here isn't for showing off purposes or anything like that. It's not for you guys to go, oh, you died 12 times or whatever, how many times I died. It's just a game to entertain you guys while you listen to my voice and listen to what I have to say about how to play aggressively and still get pretty good scores. First of all, you definitely need Marathon. Lightweight is optional, but Marathon is a must. And Ghost is good if you don't like being seen on the UAV, so be a homo and use Ghost. No, I'm just joking. Ghost, Ghost is cool. Ghost is a cool perk. And secondly, for the second perk, I highly recommend Slate of Hand because since you're going to be in the enemies spawn and always around them, you want to reload fast, so use uh, Slate of Hand. For your attachments, if you want to use dual mags, du I, for me, dual mags is the best attachment ever. It gives you. I think 180, 180 uh, bullets or whatever. Ex oh, it gives you a lot of extra clips, and you reload super fast, way faster if you have sled hand with it, which is a bonus. So I highly recommend dual mags, or you could always go with the trusty red dot sight or the silencer. Red dot is really good for increasing your accuracy, and the silencer makes you makes you invisible to UAV when you shoot so either one is pretty decent for the kill streaks if you're trying to rack up high kill streaks like I am you definitely want to get spy plane spy plane is a must because you want to know where your enemy is and then the next one probably you would probably want to use blackbird because blackbird is the best thing in the world it shows you everyone everywhere every direction doesn't even matter what you do you can see them it's like you're god anyways back to my kill streaks off topic stuff okay uh and the last one you either want gunship or tack dogs i highly recommend that you don't use the t uh a, what is it called chopper gunner chopper gunner is not that good because it always flies behind houses and stuff and objects where you can't shoot through so unless you're playing in jungle jungle is probably the only exception but besides that don't use chopper gunner you'll be really disappointed with that kill streak it just sucks okay and here's some general gameplay tips you always want to try and sneak behind your enemies most of the time people are hiding in corners or crouching around that's when you have the advantage because since you have marathon you can run across the entire map in less than 10 seconds depending on how big the map is and when you do that you have a big advantage because you're behind them they can't shoot you you can shoot them though so you get two three kills from there you get you probably will get your spy plane and then you can go ahead and see where they are and shoot them kill them and then get your blackbird and then from there it's uh, cake you just go ahead and pick them off one by one get your attack dogs chopper gunner gunship whichever one you have and you blow them away that's the way I play aggressively and how I love to play I like to give you guys some other tips is when you enter a building known for campers or an area where lots of people camp always try and throw a concussion grenade because the, it's highly likely there'll be a claymore or something in there that will blow up in your face and a whole bunch of campers in there so one it will disorient the people the players and two it will temporarily disable the claymore or c4 or whatever equipment the person is using which is a plus so if you guys didn't know that go ahead and throw a whole bunch of flashbang or concussions in there and then rush in and kill them it's highly unlikely you get killed unless they spray and get lucky but other than that you should be getting a whole bunch of kills when you do that I also like to 
um, what is it called? I love to throw a whole bunch of like random semtexes or frag grenades off the spawn, especially on fighting range or summit, small maps like that. Those will probably get you a few kills if you're lucky, because most of the time people run in the same direction when the game starts or around the same route when the game starts. So that'll get you uh, a little head start before you start trying to rack up the kills. And then from there on, you just go ahead and kill them. See right there? I want to point that out. That claymore was disabled because I threw my concussion grenade. That's really helpful because the claymores are the most annoying thing in this game. They are so effective that it's just ridiculous. They kill you no matter what. Unless you have flak jacket or something, they'll kill you. Or if you get lucky. But they did with claymores in this game, I agree with. Because claymores should explode and kill you. But I believe they're way overpowered. That's just ridiculous. Every time they explode and kill me, I get really mad. I also want to tell you guys about like secret spots and areas or ways to climb up to uh, camping areas. I'll probably be showing you guys secret spots or trick spots, whatever you like to call it, in my next video. It'll probably be on... My first videos will probably be on Summit and Fire Range because those are the ones that are most commonly played or most liked to play or most voted. And Nuketown has a few too, so I'll show you guys that. And other than that, this is the end. I hope you guys like my gameplay, my commentary, everything about this. Hope you rate, comment, and subscribe. Alright guys, peace! The ladder jump. <laughs> I was about to shoot the guy. The ladder. Doesn't work out too well.